Hey, my loves, it's me, Keisha, aka Color Me Pink, and I am here with a brand new behind the scenes tea video. You all know I have been reviewing season one of The Real Housewives of Dubai. I feel like this season has been a really strong season. Of course, I have issues with certain things, but I feel like for these ladies to have filmed their first season, they did a good job. Not a great job, but a good job. Well, the girls are fighting. The girls have had some words to say about each other other um in interviews and things they recently just filmed the cast reunion there is a divide amongst the ladies child it is so much chitter chatter going on about the dubai girls i don't even know where to begin first off let's discuss carlos king was recently on Giselle and Robin's Reasonably Shady podcast. And they had a lot to say about Dubai. Take a listen. Let's talk about the Real Housewives of Dubai. Right. Which I like to say the Real Housewives of Dubai. Because <laughs> for me, those women studied every single housewife. Mm. And it's hard for me to get into them. Because I don't think they're being themselves. What do y'all think? Okay, I've only seen one, maybe one and a half episodes. The only thing that stands out to me is is the is the model girl. Same. Right, right. but I think he's talking about her. I right. feel like... Well, okay. she, but I feel like Chanel. she... Well, yeah. okay, hi, yes. She's yes, the main I one. I feel like she's at least entertaining to watch. The others is like paint drying, right? So uh, she keeps me... I'm looking for her for the next scene. So I will give her that. Y'all, we about to be clips. They gonna clip this up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You know what? I would have to disagree with those statements about the Dubai girls, about them copying and pasting what they've seen other housewives do, because I feel like if that was the case, we would have had a way more dramatic season um, with a lot of more antics. I honestly feel like a lot of the ladies on this show came in trying to, how can I say this? They tried to keep their lives really close to the chest. Like you didn't really see their home dynamics with the families and the husband and wife dynamic. Like you got to see them going out on dates with other couples, but nothing really popped off or happened. You didn't really get to see them in the home. I don't know if they cut that footage out, but I felt like a lot of the ladies were very aware that they were filming a reality show and that they did not want to come across looking or seeming a certain way. So they came in, I felt like guarded and not 100% free on camera. Only person that I felt was really like, this is me. I don't really give a fuck what y'all think. I feel is Ayan and Brooks. I feel like the other ladies really played it close to the vest. So I don't really agree with that. And Ayan and Lisa didn't agree with it either. When she and Lisa were asked about, you know, the comments made about their show, Ayan said, I don't agree with that as much as I respect Giselle, but Lisa and me literally carried the show. So she needs to watch more than one episode to see what's going on. It's an ensemble cast. You can't judge when you've only watched one and a half. I agree. I agree with that statement on for Giselle and Robin and Carlos. Like you can't really judge a season based off one episode. Um, and then Lisa said, I feel like Giselle should actually know better. And girl, worry about your fashions before you worry about us. Okay. Okay. All right. No, that was just disrespectful. True, but disrespectful. I will say that I do feel like Chanel and Brooks, then Lisa carried this season. I feel like Lisa was very likable. Um, she was beautiful. Her kids, her family and everything is really nice, but she didn't really have a wow moment, a big statement moment for me like Chanel and Brooks did. And let me know. Do you guys agree with Carlos and them? Now, a lot of people have said that this season was boring. They did not like it. So even I said that season two, 
they have to step it up. They have to step it up. They have to be more outspoken. They have to show more of their lives, not be so guarded, speak what's on their minds. I do feel like Phaedra joining the cast of Dubai will help that cast out tremendously. They need it. However, Chanel Ayan disagrees, honey, about Miss Fei Fei coming over to Dubai. Now, I don't know what was said on Phaedra's end, but obviously she must have said something about Chanel because Chanel tweeted to the thirsty ex-housewife, shut the fuck up. You only met me once for five minutes. Let's not make it a at candy situation with lies. Hashtag stop lying like you know me. Hashtag learn your lesson. Hashtag Real Housewives of Dubai. She did delete the tweet. I don't know if the network reached out to her to delete it or whatever, but uh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I say I love Chanel because Chanel don't give two fucks. Chanel gonna say what the fuck she got to say. I, like I said, think that Phaedra would be a great addition to the cast. They need that spice. They need the troublemaker. They need the shade. They need all of that. They need somebody to make these ladies come out of their shell. So I think that Phaedra would be great over in Dubai. Let me know what you all think. Do you all want Phaedra to go over to the Dubai franchise? Let's talk about it. And if she does, Phaedra does have to speak on what happened to her and Candy. She has to speak on that. Sarah has been making her interview rounds and she has had a lot to say about Lisa and Ayan. Take a listen. Who do you feel fooled you the most? Uh, Lisa and Ayan. Yes. Let's talk about the Lisa and Ayan of it all. What were you most shocked by from their confessionals? Were there any specific jabs that you were like, whoa, that that really hurt? Watching the confessionals, I remember, you know, Ayan and Lisa, but mostly Ayan would come to me and Nina and she would go like, Please don't say anything negative about me. My son watches the show. I don't want his feelings hurt. So sometimes we downplayed how we felt towards her because we're like, my God, her family is going to see this. We don't want her child to go through any trauma. And then when we watched and she was like, I never said anything about you guys ever. I swear. And when we watched, we're like, wait, wait, what? Hold on. But it's it's funny and it's sad at the same time because Ayan does have a TV personality she does not need to go that extra mile of hurting and lying to, to reach there. You have it in you already. Now, see, this is the issue that I have had with Sarah all season. To me, Sarah likes to distort the narrative and what actually happened. She seems like she likes to distort reality because all I have seen Lisa and Chanel say about her or any other other girl was cute light shade they have not called y'all no bitches no hoes or talked about y'all families spilled dirt on y'all and the issues that chanel had with sarah she said to her face that she felt like sometimes she can be very judgy um she also said about nina that nina was boring okay ooh wee that's not fake that's shade girl that's light shade get over it please get over it you're on a reality show you're supposed to spice things up at the end of the day and neither one of them attacked y'all or to me acted fake and was one way on camera and another way behind the scenes and even with Chanel saying don't say anything bad about me okay that's not they don't have anything to do with her giving you light shade. Like I said, because she didn't say anything horribly bad about you or anybody else on this cast. I think the one person that she probably even called out their name was Brooks, because Brooks is a bitch, <laughs> and maybe um Stanberry. But as far as you and Nina go, she didn't say nothing bad about y'all. Like, grow up, Sarah. I don't know what Sarah signed up for, but Sarah irks my nerves. She really honestly does. She had more to say about them, too. Do you think she had a master plan to kind of dim everyone else's light? Yeah, even even like um, she would like, for example, tell Nina, um, or just wear simple stuff from Zara or stuff like that. Don't worry. And then she'll show up in like a gown like that she borrowed. And it's like it's like it's crazy. So it's it, we felt like we felt like we were played. Another thing that was alarming is that uh, her and Lisa talk so much about all the cast. And then the next day they're eating lunch with them. For me. 
But I cannot sit on a table, share food with someone I just spoke about or I don't like. I, I'm not wired that way. It's just like my words match my actions. So me looking at them, I'm like, hold on. She, that day she said she can't stand her and then she's having lunch with her. Now, once again, Sarah, this is your fault. Have you not seen The Housewives? Have you not watched reality television? Why would you call another housewife and ask her, well, what are you wearing? And then she tell you, oh, just wear something from Zara or whatever. And then she shows up in a ball gown. Okay, the first time she did it, you should have known better. First of all, you too grown to be calling somebody, asking them how they dressing. You wear what the fuck you want to wear at any time and don't give a fuck about how anybody feels about it, a.k.a. why Chanel walked around with ball gowns on all season to stand out and give herself a moment. Like, you played yourself. She ain't play you. Like, you played yourself, dummy. And then, once again, what you saying that Lisa Milan talked crap about everybody and was saying she can't stand people. I don't remember them saying they can't stand nobody. Am I tripping? You all let me know if they said that they can't stand people and stuff like that. Let me know down below because I don't remember any of that. I feel like Sarah is reaching. I really honestly do. Um, then the ladies went to New York to film the reunion. And of course, since the ladies were over here in the States, they did some press for the show and Brooks and Caroline filmed for page six as well. And they threw some shade towards Lisa and Chanel. She's a two, but she thinks she's a 10. Chanel I am. She's a zero, but she thinks she's a 10. Definitely Lisa Milan. He would like to be a 10, but he's really a zero. Oh, it's a competition, a competition between <laughs> two. I can't pick. He's definitely a 10, and a lot of girls are jealous about that. So do you? Now, this is what you call delusional. Now, one thing you're not going to say is that Lisa and Chanel are not beautiful women. Like, come on. And who's jealous of Sergio? Girl, don't nobody want to be with Sergio but you. He is, you are his beard, girl. Ain't no, don't nobody want that man? Hell, he don't even want you. <laughs> like, let's keep it a buck. And if anybody was shady, this season it was stanberry with her elitist attitude and it was brooks like what like i said the girls are really truly divided going into the reunion as you can see in this footage it is um stanberry brooks nina and sarah all on one side i couldn't play the audio but they were having their sex in the city moment walking down the streets of new york and this footage you can see lisa and chanel catching up with cynthia so going into the reunion the girls were not feeling each other which is very sad so you can see that it's going to be four against two but i think chanel and lisa will be able to handle them i really honestly do because on that side only person that's really going to say anything of any substance is probably going to be stanberry and brooks um Sarah might get in there a little bit. I'll be shocked about Nina. I can't wait to see if Nina gonna get in there and scrap with the girls. I actually am shocked that Nina was over there on that side too. I thought that she would be more neutral. You know what I'm saying? More in the middle because I don't feel like Lisa did anything to Nina. Uh, like I said, only thing that I can remember that Ion said about Nina was that she was boring. <laughs> that was about it. Other than that, it wouldn't have been nothing for me to be like straight up mad about. And last but not least, this is the footage of the day of filming the reunion. You see Andy getting ready for it, preparing. He didn't get his car on time. We then see Sarah in the mirror getting ready for the day. I can't wait to see the set and how the ladies look and everything. I think fashion wise that this is going to be a very good season of uh, one reunion fashion wise. So I'm really looking forward to that. Let me know what y'all thought about all this shade that was thrown around honey down below in the comment section. You guys make sure to thumbs up this video, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys and I will see you on the next video. Bye.